let's talk about Sony's Spider-Man universe, which, by the way, alone, we have Venom, Morbius, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. There's the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Did you know that Sony has named their little pocket universe? They've given it a name. Do you know what they call it? No. The Sony Picture Universe of Marvel Characters. S-P-U-M-C or Spoom, as I like to call it. They, uh, that is the universe where you've got Venom, Morbius, basically these Spider-Man offshoots that result from the weird situation of Sony owning the film rights to Spider-Man, having arranged this partnership where Spider-Man can show up in Marvel Studios movies. Sony still wants to have their own little Spider-Man universe, so they're taking all these side characters from the Spider-Man world, like Morbius, like Venom, and giving them their own movies. This week, we got word that there are a couple more of these Spoom movies on the way. The first one we heard about was in a Variety article, and they reported that S.J. Clarkson has been hired to develop a female-centric Marvel movie. They haven't said exactly which one, but the speculation is that it is a Madam Web movie. And it was announced back in 2009 that Sony was developing a Madam Web film, so that all fits. Alon, I'm curious, you are a Spider-Man fan. You don't read the comics, but you've watched the shows. You've played the video games. Do you have any familiarity with the Madam Web character? Yeah, I know she floats in space and she controls the different dimensions or something like that. I know things got pretty trippy when mm-hmm. she's involved. I know she was in the original cartoon. That's that, right. That's right. Well, not the original, original. So but. in the <laughs> Variety article, this is my favorite part of the article. They say, in the comics, Madam Web is depicted as an elderly woman with myasthenia gravis. If my brother were here, my medical school brother. Gravis? Yeah. Okay, he's off to the side here. It's pronounced myas. Myasthenia Gravis, an elderly woman with myasthenia gravis and thus was connected to a life support system that looked like a spider web. Due to her age and medical condition, Madam Web never actually fought any villains. And then the article says, for that reason, sources have stressed it's possible the project could turn into something else. And I just find that funny. What does that mean exactly? They're developing this movie. They're in the pitch room. And then all of a sudden they realize, okay, who's the villain of this film? Well, sir, they never. she never actually fought any villains or uh, really did a whole lot. Oh, really? We got to find somebody else to make this movie about. Also, that line in the article is a direct copy and paste from Wikipedia, which I know because I immediately wikipedia at Madam Web to find out what she's all about. Anyway, I went to read a little bit more about this character. As Alun alluded to, Madam Web is a paralyzed, blind, but also telepathic clairvoyant in precognitive mutant. So they can, she can see into the future. So she has interacted with Spider-Man a bunch, has been very helpful to him. So I have a hard time seeing them making a movie about this character as she's written. I just can't see them trying to market a Madam Web film to kids, and kids would be a large part of the target demographic for this film, one assumes. But one route they could go is there was an iteration in the comics where Madam Web was dying, and before passing on, she transferred her power to a younger person named Julia Carpenter. That's somebody that was in the Spider-Man, the Spider-Woman role for a little while. So Julia Carpenter took on those abilities. I could see a movie where maybe an elderly Madam Web sticks around as a sort of guide to the Julia Carpenter character. Then you can get the best of both worlds. Support Gaming 2020 in the chat says, what if Maguire, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man comes back in the MCU? you support gaming 2020 i have been vying for that to happen for years and i think we are at a point in time where that is not impossible you have dr strange in the multiverse of madness being directed by sam raimi if they're going to be traveling to different universes they've got sam raimi you've got to bring toby mcguire in for a cameo at least though i would love to see more than a cameo i would love to see them give sam raimi a chance to sort of close the book on his iteration of spider-man We also know that they did pitch a cameo in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which would have had a scene with Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and Tobey Maguire all interacting with each other. So 
I think it's pretty realistic it could happen. It almost happened. I think the execs shut down the Spider-Verse cameo because they thought it would be too confusing. They thought it would be too soon. But we saw Spider-Verse. The multiverse is being introduced to the MCU. The time is perfect for them to bring Tobey Maguire in. I will be so happy if they do that, especially if Sam Raimi's involved. Going on from that, uh, so, well, actually, before we leave this one, we always like to do, is this going to be a good movie? And how do we do that, Alun? How? We look up the people who are making oh, the movie. That we makes look, sense. We look <laughs> at their credentials. So S.J. Clarkson, she directed the unaired Game of Thrones prequel pilot, so we can't really go off that. But she did a couple of episodes of Jessica Jones, Succession, a little bit of Dexter. So this could really go either way, I think. She's done good work on television. This is going to be one of her first big films. And so is it going to be good or not? Hard to tell. But I'm always a fan when television directors get a shot at the big screen and get a chance to do something big like this. So hopefully this moves forward and it ends up being awesome. So Madam Web is getting a movie. But not only that, to yesterday, Deadline reported that Mark Guggenheim is scripting a movie about a character named Jackpot, a crime-fighting mother. She was a scientist at Felcorp, which is a subsidiary of Oscorp, was working on gene therapy to address Parkinson's disease when she accidentally got exposed. And as always happens in the Marvel Universe, she gained super strength. So Mark Guggenheim co-created the show Arrow, and he writes a lot of comics. He's written for the character Jackpot. He's written Superman, Batman, Aquaman, and some others. So I love when they take a comic book writer and have them actually work on the comic book movie. It's funny how it's taken movie studio execs and producers so long to learn if you're adapting source material what if we bring in the people who worked on the source material to work on the movie? And I think that tends to work pretty well. So hopefully Madam Web and Jackpot are both good movies. I like what we saw from Sony with the Into the Spider-Verse film. And I think that was so good, partially because it had its own feel. It felt like they gave the directors creative freedom to really do something different. I liked Into the Spider-Verse more than most of what we've seen from the MCU. So Jackpot, Madam Web, will they be more like Venom or will they be more like Into the Spider-Verse? Only time will tell. 